Hello everyone. All right. In this video, I just would like to do the CFA, confirmatory factor analysis. This is another analysis from the exploratory factor analysis or EFA. In EFA, we explore factors or components. And in CFA, we confirm the factors that we found in EFA. All right. So if you see from my previous video that we found five components, from the EFA within 23 items, right? And I did another data collection, another data set for the CFA using 23 items among 221 samples. Uh, so let's, let's check this out. All right, if you can see on the screen on the left side here that the results of the EFA previously, five components, right? And then on the right side is the AMOS. So the files, so we're going to do file name here. There's the data, save a registered 23 items, another data set. And click OK. And then we draw the components here. Right, first component one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second component, five component, three components, four items, four indicators, and then three indicators. I right, rotate it. The beautiful one, make it a little bit faster here. And then we make it beautiful by right now. All right. Check just to make it symmetries. All right. And then preserve symmetries. Just want to make it balance and then yeah. Just to make it beautiful, yeah. Right. Now we can name it with dimension one, with dimension two, with dimension three, dimension four, dimension five, right? And we open data files here. So we're gonna put each items, each observable to so I'll make it fast here. So to be the same with the result of the FA, yeah. But indicator just put one by one. All right. And go to plugins, resize observables. All right, beautiful. And then plugins, we need to name the error unobservable here. Name unobservables. Good. Now we draw the covariance. Dimension one to dimension two, dimension two to dimension three, to three to dimension four, dimension four to dimension five. Dimension one to dimension three, four, and and dimension two to dimension four, and dimension two to dimension five, and dimension three to dimension five. And we kind of make beautiful or touching up. Touch up variable. Yep. 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 Beautiful. Right. Good. Now we go to analysis. We need to do this output here, standardized estimates, and also residual moments and modification indices. Right, and then save it. Don't forget to save. All right, just need to save it here. Okay, the save, and then calculate it. Boom. Great. Up on the diagram. Great. Standardized estimates. Right, there's the result. You can see the correlation in each construct is quite good because there is no 
uh, value more than 0 0.7 here so this component uh, belong to so that's this very good correlations in each factor loading as well there is no item that less than 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.3 depends on which literature they want to use better and then we go to model fits here so if you see from the model fit the here provided churches for chi square to be less than three and the is 0 0.08 some said it's 0 0.09 and cfi to be more than 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 depends on which literature that you would like to use and for cfi 0 0.9 but here is the most uh, scholars use for client and even here yeah they use it and from here is less than 0 0.5 for guys squared where freedom is acceptable but 0 0.2 is considered good for Ramsey 0 0.08 this is actually the rule of thumb yeah CFI is more than 0 0.9 Based on Browns, they said Ramsey less than 0 0.05 is close to model fit, and in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.08 is reasonably good, and for in between 0 0.08 and less than 0 0.10, it's mediocre, it's acceptable value, but it is unacceptable if Ramsey is more than 0.10. So, and also there's in other churches they said if 0 0.8 is also acceptable, okay? So again, it depends on the churches, which of the churches that you want to use, right? So here in our data, uh square throw 3.3, GFI 7.8, not that good. For Ramsey 0 0.10, this is unacceptable. This model is not fit. So if it's unacceptable, so that's why we need to do the modification in this is right? Alright, so let's find the modification in this is here. We like to do the covariate in each indicator in each, in each component. So let's see here, we 11 to 12. It's quite big here, so let's do covariate those. Okay, 11 to 12. And then let's try C. The output here what is going on here still three jeff i getting better from seven before and ramsey getting better 0 0.097 but still not great but it's acceptable yeah and try to cover it others here is 10 to 11 again again try it again to the try to cover it those you can try to find which item yeah in each component but you cannot do cross components yeah to cover it the items let's see again mm, getting better gfi also better cfi better ramsey 0 0.09 now we try to find others but i don't think there are other items that can be covariate because it should be in a cross component it's not possible to do it should be like an h component to do the covariate all right so we go to the estimates go to matrices go to standardized residual covariance and let's see which one is the biggest problem here. Many items that create problems here. So many items. Variable lines, go big here. And variable 22, variable 24.
All right, let's try to delete one item here. Yeah? You can see here which which items you need to consider to delete because I really hate delete item here. Yeah? But we try to do to find a good fit model here. So probably in dimension one because too many items in there. All right, so delete twenty four. Put a twenty four here. Then parameter regression rate one here. All right, and try again. Check the model fit. Mm, better, but Ramsey is still not great. All right, Ramsey is still not great. So we check again. Which one did we need to delete? So try variable nine or variable forty one to delete items. Yeah, this two point is quite big here. Chris problem. So let's try to delete variable nine here. Try again. So, what is the output after we did it for the line? Hmm, rating better, yeah, less than 2.9. JFI better, JFI almost 0.9. Good. For Ramsey, 0 0.093. Still not okay. Try again for the estimates. For the modification indices, I don't think other items are good to see. Alright, so go to estimates again and standardize residual covariance. We just need to delete again, maybe variable 22, yeah. Try again. Variable 22. We remove right. Remove and then calculate again. Getting better. GF also tolerable. Yep. And then for Ramsey here zero point zero eight nine is less than zero point zero nine. I think this is the grid one, okay? I think this is the acceptable model from this analysis so i don't want to delete more items here or try to force to get the model fit but if you can try you can you can try one by one okay because probably you just need to delete the highest one first and then try again for me i just wanted to see like which one that create so many problems you can try one by one but for me i think i just enough for deleting three items here so it's 20 items right now for the good model i can say this is the acceptable model for the cfa result for now i may not say this is a good fit model but it is acceptable and tolerable so maybe just test for the calculations of the cfa for today so you can try more if you would like to to do more with the amos but this is the way how to do it Okay guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully it will be useful for you. Thank you, thank you so much.